Hello uh, to everyone. Uh, I'm Felipe from Zavala Innovation Consulting. Uh, first of all, thanks to SECFO to invite us and to stay here with you and share some experience. Um, well, just let me introduce very quickly what is uh, Zavala about. Uh, we are more than 30 years of experience, more than 240 qualified professionals, um, more than 8,000 clients that we are working on. And we have uh, 12 uh, own facilities office, uh, around in, mainly in Spain, as you can see here. Uh, our headquarters are in Pamplona. I think you know about, about the, the bulls <laughs> uh, runs. And, and, well, and we have office in, in Paris, Brussels, and, and London, and overseas in, in Colombia, Bogota, because we work for big companies, multinational companies, and also SME enterprise, and even in uh, startups companies. Also, we, we work to, uh, close to to universities, uh, clusters, uh, technological centers, even we collaborate with uh, public administrations. Uh, worldwide, uh, we have uh, partners that we can see uh, opportunities through, uh, through the world in every country. Well, our methodology uh, comes from the idea until the end of the project life. We start with the strategy planning and we develop the technology, the technical, economic, and administrative management. Uh, in order to know about our rates, uh, we, we are just talking about the Horizon 2020. We have get uh, 400 million for our clients. Um, well, we manage more than 600 partners. We lead more than 500 projects, and our success rate is about. 33 uh, percent and you know the average in Europe is 11 percent so well just uh, to to think about why innovate well if you see this image uh, this is a, a patent a can open a patent and that uh, it was created uh, in 1858 and but much before 40 years uh, the the food can uh, was introduced so you can imagine how they can open it so they use the bayonets this is uh, this is one example of how an innovation can make the that this product uh, go to the to the mass market to the to the homes and and use it but uh, you think that the, the innovative was done but it, it's not then a period that uh, can open it uh, uh, in, uh, on the can, and this uh, make that the can open it, uh, the first can open it, uh, could almost disappear. So you must always keep innovating. You you cannot stop innovating. You must always uh, innovate, and this is the evolve of the, of that innovation that that came a long time ago. So um, we always say that the the company's worth lies on on its innovation. So that's how I was cured. Also, uh, you can innovate with a lettuce. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, so many years ago, uh, some producers uh, cooperated together to, to think not about uh, vegetables, no, to think about salads. So they create uh, a, big, uh, a big market and, and a, a new product that uh, now is uh, a success. Um, so we can think. So we can think that uh, there are no innovative sectors, but innovative sectors, innovative projects in all sectors. And uh, the, 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 uh, what bring, bring us uh, today is, is this cue that uh, photonics can, can help you in, in, in this sector, in the agro-food agro sector. Um, in, uh, depending on the, on the phase that uh, the project is, you can have many opportunities. You can see if you are in the research, you are in the development, innovation, investment, depends on, on, on the state that you are, you can get funds uh, from different from different administrations, from different different types. Also, this uh, graphic uh, shows that uh, mo mostly more people think that the, w where you have to invest more is uh, on the R&D phase, and it's not true, as you can see in, in this in this in this chart, uh, where you have to invest more is when you are ready to to get to the market. So this is uh, a, com 
uh, common knowledge that sometimes people don't think about, but it's really true. And uh, just below the, the, the TRL, that while well, in normal in the European <coughs> funding programs, it's important to know where you are or where the product is, That's just to get known. Uh, main opportunities for innovation projects. Well, um, currently the, the social challenge too, where food uh, is mostly addressed, um, is not released yet. Uh, the next month will be released the, the, the next calls. So, but will be uh, on January 20, 20, uh, 2020, well, the, oh, sorry, well the, where, the, where the last call, Social Challenge 2, will be, will, uh, you, you can address. And the, the next one will be, will be, um, will release the work, the work programs. Now they are running uh, some drafts, but then the, no, not officially. So, well, the, the main rules of the Horizon 2020, as uh, more, of the, more of you you must know, here they, they are, uh, 100 percent from rate for research activities, seven percent for innovation activities. But there are all other programs. Uh, one of the programs interesting is uh, Fast Track to Innovation. Um, it's a really nice program because uh, it's, it's to well uh, to get an idea and bring it to the market in, in just 36 months. So it's a faster go to market um, and always uh, have to lead the, the the, the, cons uh, the consortium, the, the industry, must be the industry who leads this. Uh, it started in, in, in 2018, and the, there are uh, nine cutoff dates. Now the, we have just five left, but uh, we, are st we can still apply for, so it's, it's, a, it's, a nice, it's a nice program. And you get 70% um, uh, of the funding of your budget that you apply. Also, there's another program that uh, we have, uh, well, I've been watching your representations, and there's a program called Life that uh, I think it can fit some of your, of your, of your, um, of your pro projects. Uh, there's uh, traditional projects, they call, and there's a line in, well, this uh, area about the environment and resource efficiency that uh, the deadline is the next month, that you can apply, here are some some well, some details of depending on the on the thematic, but uh, that uh, it can be addressed and, and you get fun from from this program. This uh, um, up to 60 percent of the of your budget you get uh, uh, the grants. Also, this uh, the climate action um, line that uh, close uh, well the deadline is in sept on September. That uh, also you can you uh, you can you, you can apply. Uh, this is. Um, projects more close to the market and, and demonstration projects so uh, that, that's uh, that's a, a, a good opportunity there's also some some other programs like this prima that is a um, well this is a, a partnership for research and innovation in the mediterranean area you can see here on, on the map where uh, the, the main countries and associate countries that can participate in in this program and also the areas that uh, they can fund, uh, management of water, farming systems, and agro-food value exchange. Um, now, currently they are closed, where well, they are closed for, for those who has applied, uh, who doesn't apply in the, the first stage, but, uh, well, you can see here uh, some of the topics that uh, they were facing, and I think also you, 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 you cannot dry because some of those, uh, well, uh, your projects can fit uh, on the, in this program. Uh, it depends. Then there are some um, calls or topics more related with research, and some others more close to market to innovation. There are many, many other programs uh, depending on on the country. Uh, there's a cooperation, international technology cooperation, uh, called Eureka or Eurostars, that managed by different uh, agencies on the different uh, Europe, uh, um, uh, state members that, uh, ca that can be addressed, uh, the, the projects. It's a really nice scheme because it's bottom up, it's open, uh, open topic. Uh, you, you, you don't have to fit on that topic. And there are, and there are several cut-off days per year, so always you can, uh, you can apply for. And uh, related to Spain, well, uh, they have the best conditions in history, but it depends on the country or with the partners uh, uh, on uh, where, the, where, where they are. You have to, to look at, at, the, 
and the um, and the funding and the funding opportunities that they give to to that to that to that country, right? Um, and also, there's a possibility to to well to get uh, R&D tax relief. Uh, there are uh, activities. Uh, these activities are promoted by all governments across Europe. So you have to think, uh, or to, you have to look at your country, what the opportunities can bring you. Uh, here are, uh, well, about the Spain, but all of the countries across Europe uh, can give you this uh, this this chance to well, to to get back uh, the money that you invest on your projects, on your R&D or innovation projects. So that's all. Uh, many thanks for for your attention and you have any doubt, yes, uh, keep in touch.